Hi, I'm Jamie McBride. I've been coming to Lakeside since 2019. Uh, I grew up in the Quad Cities um, in Rock Island. Uh, I grew up in a Catholic household, but it was a little mix. My dad was Catholic, my mom was Baptist, um, but they did make the decision to raise all of us Catholic. And when I was about 16 was when I decided to stop going to church. There wasn't really a big event or anything. I just had a flat tire and got mad at my mom because I had a flat tire. <laughs> no real reason. Uh, and she didn't really push the issue at that point. So I kind of went into a downward spiral from there. I won't spell out everything I did, uh, but it wasn't good. Um, I definitely felt kind of chained and bound to much more worldly desires and uh, just kind of felt a darkness that I couldn't really get out of. Um, I moved around a little bit when I got older. I found myself in a relationship for about five years and it just wasn't really going well. Um, my insecurity started growing uh, more and more every day. Uh, my relationship ended and I moved to a new town where I didn't know anyone. Um, I was renovating my house, so my mom was coming up and helping me every single weekend. And music has always been really big to both of us. Uh, we're not musically inclined. We're not a musical family. We just like music. Uh, and so she started introducing me to a lot of Christian bands and, you know, more to appease her than anything. I was like, okay, let's listen to Christian music while we're here. And uh, but one day she did come up and ask if I would go to this church. Um, I had no real reason to say no. And so Sunday morning we got up and we came to church. Um, that's really the first time I remember like a knock, a knock from God was asking me to go to church that day. But then another knock that I remember was pretty literal. Uh, my next door neighbors, they came over and knocked on my door. They had seen me at church and uh, they told me a little bit more about the church, told me um, about different groups they were a part of, different things, that, different events that go on. Um, and I think they had no idea um, whether I was saved or not. Uh, they just came over to talk and chat and um, they offered me to sit with them. They knew I was um, living alone. So they offered for me to sit with them so that I didn't have to go alone. Um, and I started going a little bit more regularly uh, and I finally reached out. I decided I wanted to um, learn a little bit more, um, potentially become a member. Um, and so Gary Presnell and Pastor Dave came over to my house one night. Uh, they brought me a marked New Testament. Uh, we went through everything um, in the Mark New Testament and kind of went over this real sacrifice that um, Jesus made for um, us sinners and um, it was really eye-opening to me you know growing up in the Catholic Church you hear a lot about it but you don't really know the why and I think that was kind of a problem I had was I didn't know the why and so listening to um, Gary and Pastor Dave kind of talk a lot more about it it just kind of finally dawned on me like I can't do this alone I, I really need more in order um, to live a better life and to live a more Christ-like life and um, understanding the sacrifice that was made, you know, Jesus giving his life, the least I can do is live my life for him and live my earthly life uh, for him. So it was that night that we sat down and prayed and I surrendered my life and um, I was saved um, so that I could live life eternally in God's kingdom. Since then, um, I was baptized. That was a really, really great experience. You know, when you're baptized as Catholic, you don't remember it. Now I, I do have a memory of my baptism. Um, I have this new family within Lakeside, uh, and I have prayer. Um, whenever those anxieties creep in, you know, it's God that I turn to. It's prayer. It's the Word. And, you know, there's really no longer this feeling bound. It's, it's like I'm free. You know, I have this hope, this um, kind of new light, new lightness. It's no longer that darkness I was feeling before. 
If I could talk to my younger self, if I could say anything to somebody who might be in my position that I was in five plus years ago, um, it's, it's not worth it to not have God in your life. Um, I think back to everything I did, and I, I like to be the type of person that doesn't have regrets. I think back to everything that I've gone through has brought me to this exact point, but also thinking about it, you know, if I had God that whole time, who's to say I wouldn't be right here? Who's to say I wouldn't be right in the same exact spot? And the, on, the only thing I can think of for sure is that I would have a closer relationship with God right now. Um, I wouldn't have had those lost years of no relationship with Him. I think something that I still struggle with a little bit is giving up control, but at the same time, it's kind of easy to f give up a little bit of that control when we're in uncertain times. Um, I always say it's not my plan um, now. Um, I know that it's God's plan. Whatever He has for me is what's going to happen if it's His will. So during these uncertain times um, with COVID and, you know, with a job, with family, with anything, um, whatever is God's plan is what's going to happen. Um, and I just have to trust that. I, I have to give up that control and not make my own choices if those choices might be against His will. So I always have to make sure that I think about that when going through day-to-day um, -day life and my plans for the future, just making sure that I, I pray for His will, pray for His plan, and move forward from there.